Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this video is for all iPhone 3GS owners who may have updated to iOS 5.1 and can no longer unlock using T-Mobile or any other SIM card around the world. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak and unlock on iOS 5.1 with your 3GS on baseband 5.16.05. Now this video will also show anybody that has already jailbroken and updated on iOS 5.1 and unlocked, but has no service, how to find service and get it working. And I just want to make clear this unlock will work on any GSM carrier worldwide. And I do want to mention this jailbreak and unlock will be tethered, meaning if your battery dies or you need to turn off your iPhone 3GS, you will need a computer nearby with Redstone installed in order to boot it back up. Otherwise, it'll just get stuck at the Apple logo. And of course, I will show you guys how to do this. And this unlock is not for every iPhone 3GS. The newer 3GSs have the new Toshiba baseband chip. And to check if you have it, you can go into settings general about and i'm going to teach you guys how to read your serial code so basically your serial code has to be a specific number or less in order to be unlockable and to read your serial code you have to look at the third fourth and fifth number for example mine is 017 these three numbers right here and basically the third number means what year your iphone was made in the fourth and fifth are the week numbers so mine was made in 2010 week number 17. so these three numbers basically mean when your iphone 3gs was made and any iphone 3gs made on or after the 35th week of 2011 cannot unlock at this time any iphone 3gs made on or before the 34th week of 2011 for example 134 934 834 can go ahead ahead and unlock with no worries and if you guys try and unlock anyways even though you're not compatible you will screw up your iPhone big time Wi-Fi Bluetooth and your signal will no longer work you'll basically have a brick and lastly I want to mention your GPS may or may not stop working after this unlock since the iPad baseband we're going to be loading on the 3GS for the unlock was not designed for GPS use on the original iPad you may or may not lose your GPS capabilities it's pretty much a gamble for some they still keep it but for others most of you guys you'll no longer have GPS all right and before we begin I just want to mention I am already running on T-Mobile's network using this method on iOS 5.1 it works perfectly and I'm gonna go ahead and restore this iPhone 3GS to stock where most of you guys will be on the activation screen and if you guys can't activate it this jailbreak will activate it for you so no worries about that so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back and here I am at the activation screen where most of you guys will be and if you guys aren't here you're already activated it'll work just fine and basically if you don't have an AT&T SIM card Red Snow will activate your iPhone for you so let's go ahead and plug in our iPhone and download Red Snow 0.9.10 beta 6 to our desktop all links can be found down below as well as a written guide all right so let's go ahead and begin so right click on Red Snow run as administrator click yes jailbreak and this is where we want to make sure our iphone 3gs is powered off so let's hold the power button and go ahead and power it off and once it's off let's go ahead and click next and hold the power for three two one together with the home button for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button now we keep holding it until red snow recognizes our iphone there you go you guys can go ahead and let go and just ignore itunes now give it a little time to load your iphone details it will take a moment and there you go so let's go ahead and check install Cydia and install iPad baseband now this is where it gives you the warning about 134 or earlier and 135 or later so make sure you have that all figured out and if you're okay go ahead and click yes now for those people with a no service error on their iPhone 3GS if you've already installed Cydia install ultrasound to check if you have service and basically you want to uncheck install Cydia and just keep install iPad baseband check because you'll be reflashing the iPad baseband in order to get service on your T-Mobile network Work. For everybody else that's unlocking for the first time, make sure install Cydia is checked and click next. Now it's going to take a moment to fetch the iPad baseband files and of course unlock and jailbreak your device. So give it about 10 to 15 minutes and I'll be right back. Now once you're done, you'll know because you'll be stuck at the Apple logo. And remember, this is a tethered jailbreak. So now we have to go into Red Snow, hold power and home for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And in the meantime, I'm just going to select Just Boot Tethered. I'm going to click Next. And once it recognizes it, it'll put it into Tether DFU mode. You just have to wait about two minutes and I'll be right back. And finally, our iPhone is at the setup menu. Now I'm just going to run through it real quick. 
next next you want to make sure location services is disabled because if you have it enabled it'll mess with your t-mobile service so make sure it's disabled next okay and i'll set up wi-fi in a bit okay agree agree don't send and start using iphone so now you want to make sure cydia is set up i'm going to go ahead and do that and once you're all set up we're going to head over to manage sources edit add and we're going to add the following source repo dot i p a r e l h o s dot com and go ahead and click add source now give it a moment and we're going to click return to cydia and then go into that source i Paralos, and inside we're going to install the ultra snow fixer for 5.1 so go ahead and do that and once again return to cydia this time we're going to search for ultra snow and we're going to select it install it click confirm okay and you're going to select restart springboard once that's done we're basically going to be rebooting the iphone so i'm just going to slide to unlock and now we're going to power off our iphone slide to power off and go ahead and insert your T-Mobile SIM card and reboot the iPhone. And of course, we're going to have to tether boot it. This is the last time, I promise, unless, of course, you turn it off yourself. But we're going to go ahead and select back in red snow and just boot tethered right now. We're going to hold the power and home for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button and once red snow recognizes your iphone it'll automatically start the tether boot process just give it about two minutes again and i'll be right back okay and my iphone has rebooted so you want to wait about five minutes for your iphone to find your carrier network of course in my case it's t-mobile and there you go i am unlocked on ios 5.1 with my 3gs on t-mobile and of course jailbroken now keep in mind this is a tether jailbreak don't forget about that i will keep you guys updated on the untethered jailbreak news but for now you'll have to wait with a tether jailbreak okay guys enjoy the unlock i really appreciate you guys rating this video of course leave any comments i will try to answer them and subscribe for more great videos enjoy the unlock peace